everybody, Happy New Year. I'm Brian Julius. I'm the Chief Content Officer for Enterprise DNA, and it's Saturday, January 1st, the first day of 2022. And I'm coming to you today with both a challenge and a gift. Um, so one of the things that's on my my learning goals list for this year is to work through the entire lexicon of DAX and M functions. And I thought rather than doing that just by myself, I would do it in community with other Power BI fans. So what I did is I built the attached um, Power BI report and that's geared exactly to this purpose. And if we go here to the, the information on the report, it's based on James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, which as it says here, posits that small routines applied daily can compound into huge positive changes over time. So rather than attacking kind of all, you know, nearly 1,100 functions at once. The goal here is just to spend 10 minutes a day and work through one DAX function and two M functions every day. And I think we can do that in 10 minutes or under per day. But at the end of the year, that's about 61 hours. And I think that 10 minutes is, is, is clear, points out, it, it's really kind of the compound interest of, of habits. And so at the end of the year, you know, this is not going to turn you into Alberto Ferrari or Imke Feldman, but I think what it's going to do for, for all of us is really advance our knowledge. And the goal, as I say here, is familiarity, not mastery. Um, in 10 minutes, you're not going to master a function. But what you are going to be able to do probably is when you come across that function, when you come across a problem that that function addresses, it's going to hopefully ring a bell and say, okay, I've seen something that will do that. And maybe you remember exactly what the function is. Maybe you don't, but you know it. You know in your mind that there is a function that deals with that. And that's where you can take that knowledge and then through um, the definitive guide to DAX or the Microsoft M reference guide or any other any other quality resource, go and really delve into it at the level of detail that you need. And so I've got here kind of the objectives and kind of the, the technical information if you're interested in how I created this. Um, but let's go back to the main page. And basically what this does is you just select a day and it it shows you the, the DAX function for that day and the, the two M functions for that day. And these blinking red dots are priority functions. And I wanted to, to thank um, Greg Deckler, who worked with me on identifying the DAX priority functions, and to Melissa DeCorte and Rick DeGroote, who helped me identify the, the M priority functions. And so it's about 20 to 30% of the total functions that when they pop up, those are the ones you should probably spend more time on. That some of the, the other ones you're going to see, particularly in M functions, are ones that are probably going to be quite specific to a particular program or a particular situation. And you may be able to kind of largely skip over those. But the, the blinking red dot ones are ones you're going to want to dig into a bit. And one of the ways you can do that is each function has a link, a live link to, for DAX, it's to the SQL BI DAX guide, kind of the outstanding resource that they've put together um, for DAX. And then for the M functions, it's the, the Microsoft M reference. And so you, you can click through and explore those in, in greater detail. Um, there are tool tips that show you for each each day what the functions are. And then there's a progress tracker down here, which as you go through the the days will kind of accrue your your progress to date. And so it's it's pretty simple. Um, but I think it's gonna be a, a useful tool for kind of imposing that discipline for each of us and setting up kind of the structure for that that 10 minutes a day. Um, so I hope you find that helpful. Um, if you have any questions or you want to get in touch with me, I've included the link to my LinkedIn page. Feel free to shoot me a message or connect with me there. And um, I hope you enjoy this, learn from it, and um, have a happy and healthy new year. So thanks very much. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. 
If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.